Uh, I'm going to show you how I skin my coons. Uh, so the tools that I use are uh, the first is you have a roofing blade on a utility knife. Uh, it's just got a little bitty hook on it. I use it for the opening cuts and slipping the tail. Um, a four inch uh, resharpened knife from Minnesota Trap Line. And a uh, knife sharpener, uh, tail slitting guide, and your standard tail stripper. Um, I also use a Havilon uh, skinning knife whenever I get down to my skinning machine in the face. And I have a, a choker collar uh, screwed into the wall. Uh, the first thing I do, I take the choker collar, put it around one of the feet of the coon, grab the other foot, and it pulls it across, and you got a nice line for your opening cut. And I take my knife sharpener, go all the way around the leg with it, and you grab both sides. And you just skinned out that leg, you just cut it right here at the top of the foot. And that's already all stripped out for you. And then I cut out the anal hole. Then I do one little slip for the tail so that you can strip it out real easy. If you kind of pull the tail fur to you, it, your knife will normally slide through there a lot easier. I put it back in the choker collar. Do the same thing to this leg. Pull it the rest of the way down. Take your knife sharpener, put it behind the tail. You can take your tail stripper, do the tail. I take my slitting guide, put it in the tail. And if you kind of raise the coon up and let the coon's weight pull it down, you'll get all the way down to the tip. I pull it down just a little bit, come to the front. Pull the front and skin it out just a little bit before I do put it on the skinning machine. Uh, cut, the, cut the front legs first right above the elbow. It'll make it a whole lot easier on you. And then take it over to the skinning machine. Take your knife sharpener with you. This is my skinning machine. You can uh, a bunch of different ways to build them. This is just the way uh, me and a buddy made this one out of scrap metal we had laying around. I twist the le the leg fur around. It kind of seems to make it go a whole lot smoother. Like I said before, um, there's my Havilon knife. I use that over here. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to have two different knives because you can keep them sharper a lot easier. But you basically just let the skinning machine do its thing. All the way up to the legs. You take your uh, mouth sharpener again. I insert them underneath the legs. Like that. And you just grab it. And pull it up towards yourself and it'll pop the front legs right out for you. And then use your Havilon knife to do the rest of it. Once you kind of cut the back of the head just a little bit, it's a little bit tough right there. You can normally hit your skinning machine again. Um, cut the ears. I like to have uh, smaller ear, ear holes about the size of your pinky. Um, a lot of people say it doesn't make a much of a difference in your price, but uh, it doesn't. It doesn't take any longer to cut smaller ear holes than it does to take cut big ones. So. 
I don't see any problem in it. Cut the corners of the mouth next. And then I grab it and pinch where the eyes are. And it seems to give me better eye holes once again. A lot of people say it doesn't matter. But uh, it doesn't take much time to cut smaller eye holes. Clip the bottom jaw. And cut around 